Hello. For the first time, we're reading from the Pixar edition of My First Bedtime Storybook. <laughs> Let me see. Today's story is called Finding Nemo. It was Nemo's first day of school, and he was excited. There were so many new friends to meet and adventures to have. Nemo wanted to swim up to the surface. His father, Marlin, warned him it was too dangerous. But the little fish didn't listen. Nemo swam up and away from Marlin. Suddenly, a diver spotted him. A diver caught Nemo and took him away. Marlin didn't know what to do. A fish named Dory spotted Marlin. She was friendly and offered to help him. We see and offered to help him. Marlin and Dory set out to find Nemo, but they soon found themselves face to face with a shark. Luckily, the shark was nice and led Marlin and Dory to a submarine. There, Marlin spotted the diver's mask. It had an address written on it. 42 Wallaby, oh, Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. Not hoping to find Nemo, Marlin and Dory decided to go to 42 Wall oh, Wallaby Way. Along the way, they swam through with jellyfish forests and befriended some sea turtles. Marlin and Dory kept swimming, and, well, no, let's see, and more and more sea creatures heard about the search for Nemo. When a friendly pe pelican named Nigel heard about the missing fish, he knew exactly where to find him, in a dentist's fish tank. Nigel took no, Marlin and Dory to the dentist's office, but when they got there, they discovered that Nemo was gone. When nobody was looking, Nemo had jumped into a pipe that led to the ocean. Father and son were reunited at last. Then Marlin, Nemo, and their friend Dory headed home. The end.